All right, today we're going to be setting up Platform 9 Managed Kubernetes free tier. So what we need to do first is go to platform9.com sign up and then enter in our information. All right. Hit deploy. We'll get an email with a verification code. So we'll get our verification code and we'll enter it in. We'll create a password and we'll hit deploy. Now we might have to log in again after this with our information, but then after that we'll be in the main UI. Now that we're into our account, what we'll need to do is add some nodes so we can create a cluster. I've already added two nodes, but I'm going to walk through adding a third node. So you go to nodes, onboard a node, and we need to install the command line. All right, so. All right, command line installed. Next step is to set up the configuration. And for that, we'll need our URL for our account. All right, and then after that, we need to prep node. That'll check the node in for us and get everything set up. So while that's running, let's go back to the UI and we'll look at the other nodes that have been added. All right, so we've got two nodes that are added and are healthy. Um, and then we have a third node that's getting added right now. And as soon as this finishes out, it's going to download the host agent, check everything in. What we can do is go ahead and create a bare OS cluster with three VMs. We make a single master with two uh, worker nodes. So we'll give this a minute to finish out. And then after that, should be able to create a cluster. And we're gonna create a cluster with metal LB so that we can use load balancers. All right, see it's showing up in the UI now. Disconnected, it's not finished out yet, but what we can do is go ahead and start setting up our cluster while that's finishing out. All right, so go to clusters, create a cluster. And like I said, what we're gonna do is a bare OS with virtual machines, single master cluster, and we'll name it demo one, we'll install 1.20.5, and we're gonna deploy metal LB. So I'm gonna use like, I don't know, five IP addresses, just so I can do some testing. But in your environment, you'll probably wanna use a larger range. All right, we're gonna use VM1 as our master, and we're still getting the other one added, so we'll refresh for a minute until the other one shows up. See what it looks like in the CLI, finished out or not. Yep, finished out, just gotta wait for it to check in. There we go. So now we got two worker nodes. And you don't have to edit any of this stuff, we can just hit next and kind of view it if you want. And then complete. And now what this is gonna do is it's gonna set up our cluster for us, which will take a, a couple minutes. Um, and then once it's done, what we can do is get the kube config and go ahead and just check in and make sure that our cluster is working. All right, so our cluster is created and finished out. So now what we can do is grab the kube config, download it. We're just gonna use the token authentication and it's valid for 24 hours. Eventually you might wanna set a password or something like that. But just to show that it's working and that we can access it, downloads and there we go so we don't have anything running in there but we can do something like to see stuff running in all namespaces and that's gonna kind of look like what you see here 
but that's all you have to do to get up and started. Um, check back next time and we'll go ahead and get a deployment going and set up some load balancers and some other things, maybe even ingress controllers.